I'm W01 Roger Wilson from Bravo Company 224 Military Intelligence Company from Fort Stewart, Georgia. And behind me we have the MQ1C Extended Range Gray Eagle. This is the Army's primary ISR intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance asset. It is made by General Atomics Aviation. It is a 4,200 pound, 58 foot wide carbon fiber unmanned aircraft. This is is the very first time that the Gray Eagle has ever attended any air show. It takes a minimum of three operators to fly the MQ-1 Predator. One of the operators is an actual pilot, normally an officer, and his co-pilot is called the sensor operator. So uh, it is a uh, diesel aircraft, a full tank of fuel that'll get around 42 hours of flight time with a service ceiling of 29,000 feet and a V&E and never exceeds speed of 167 knots. A normal cruising speed for fuel economy is around 80 knots in the sky. The Great Eagle, an unmanned aerial system, has been a vital tool in patrolling the skies of Operation New Dawn in Iraq since 2010. Now for the first time in theater, it is being tested to deploy Hellfire missiles. The, the standard weaponry is the AGM-114 uh, Hellfire missile. Uh, we can carry variants of that. Our primary one that we use is the Romeo 2 variant. It has a, a daytime television camera, a forward-looking infrared radar camera, as well as uh, various uh, spot lasers, laser designators, uh, coded laser weapon laser designators, and uh, laser range finders on board. And as UAS becomes a bigger part of military operations, there's no doubt that the Gray Eagle's role with the Big Red One will continue to grow. Unmanned aviation is the future. I don't think we'll ever take pilots entirely out of the cockpit. Optionally manned aircraft that can either be remote controlled like this or flown by a pilot inside are very much the, the future of aviation, not just for the Army, but uh, across all the branches and in the civilian sectors as well. I'm a former UAS operator of this aircraft. During that, I've deployed to Afghanistan uh, multiple times, flown missions in support of every branch of military service, doing uh, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike missions. Done everything that you could possibly think of from supporting uh, special forces team to supporting resupply missions. Uh, anything that would require a ground force commander to have eyes on the ground, have eyes on his troops in the field. Um, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> what do you want? I don't know.